Hello, I welcome you all. The problem reads that the Jeep has a weight of uh, 2,500 pounds and an engine which transmits a power of 100 horsepower to all the wheels. Assuming the wheels do not slip on the ground, determine the angle theta of uh, the largest incline the Jeep can climb at a constant speed of uh, 30 feet per second. Uh, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics, our 14th edition by RSC Bella. So we are being asked here to determine the, con the angle theta of the largest incline. Right. And we are dealing with power. All right. And power is just basically uh, the rate of doing work. Right. We have power. Maybe to start with, let's draw the free body diagram. So we have the weight. Let's say the weight is acting through the center of gravity at that point, like so. And then let's have components uh, uh, al along the incline. Let's say we have one component, like so. Okay. We have one component, like so. And let's say we have another one like so okay and then we have the resultant let's say this is the resultant normal force from the tires mm -hmm. then we also let's say we have the driving let's say we have the driving force or the pulling force right so let's call this one f Okay, let's call this one W and let's call this one the normal force. Then we do have this angle here. Um, okay, let's see, we draw this one like so. This one is horizontal, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say we have this angle here. This angle here is our theta. So this is theta. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we will have this one as this one becomes if this is theta, then this one here is 90 minus theta, and this one here is theta, right? Mm -hmm. So this one is theta, right? So this becomes, this is W sine theta, and this is W cos theta. Okay, right, so we do have power here. Power is just equal to du this is the work the rate of doing work du dt and we know that our du there is nothing but uh the force okay the force vector dot dr okay then this with respect to dt then this is just equal to uh, the force vector, the R, the T there is just uh, the velocity vector, right? So here we go. So in this particular case, uh, velocity or the speed is constant. Okay, and therefore, acceleration along of course the x direction so vx is constant this is going to be equal to zero so let's say we have the coordinate like so mm -hmm. like so okay this is our x and this is our y right so let's write down the equations so say summation 
of forces in the x direction equal to max but we said ax is equal to zero right so we will have f okay minus w sine theta equal to zero and therefore our f the pulling force or the driving force itself is just equal to uh, w sine theta okay all right so then we do have the formula for power which is just equal to p equal to um the force vector in our case here we do have f okay f all right fx fx okay times uh, vx right okay and uh, our p here will be given is equal to um 100 horsepower so let's 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 convert this to the units that we are going to be using 100 horsepower so converting this to uh feet pound per second we know um one horsepower is equal to 550 uh feet uh pound horsepower so this just becomes 550 feet pound okay per second and then divided by one horsepower all right so horsepower and horsepower cancels out therefore this just becomes equal to uh, 100 by that it just becomes five five zero 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 feet pound per second all right so um this writing this this just becomes five thousand i mean fifty five thousand is just equal to fx we said this is equal to w so here we know to say our fx is equal to w sine theta okay so this is equal to w sine theta okay times vx all right so we can replace numbers there our w uh, is uh, 2500 right uh, sine theta then times our vx we said is 30 feet per second so making theta subject to the formula this just becomes sine inverse of um sine inverse of 5000 i mean 55000 55000 divided by 2500 by 30 and therefore theta is just going to be equal to 55000 divided by 2000 500 by 13 mm -hmm. and then sign sign in this of that we just get a 47.17 point uh, one seven degrees so this is our largest incline the jeep can climb at this constant rate so i hope this particular video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and sharing my video bye bye and i'll see you in my next screencast